it's Friday the 23rd of October 2015. I hope you're having a nice Friday. A bit grey and dreary here. We've already managed to get out swimming. It's actually quarter to three in the afternoon when I'm recording this. Things are moving a little bit slowly today, boys and girls, a bit slowly. I've managed to get a few bits and pieces, some accounts drawn, paid a water bill. Oh, it's all happening. Now, uh, my friend at the moment is on holiday. Yes, indeed, he is in Florida. Oh, I'm jealous. That one I'm jealous of. He flew with Virgin Airways and he's staying at a little hotel. I don't know what the hotel, I don't think he's too keen on the hotel. So I'm waiting to hear back from him. I've tried a few FaceTimes, but he's not answering at the moment. So they're probably still asleep. What time is it now? Quarter to nine in the morning or quarter to ten in Florida? I don't know. Anyway, while he's out there, they've already been there one, one night or two nights. <clears throat> I asked him, I've asked him to get me a jacket. OK, now uh, the type of job, I like quite nice colours, you know, nothing drab and dreary. I, I, I would I, I would I'd probably wear, you know, a, a nice colour, green, blue, red, whatever, like that. Um, but I mean, a little bit disappointed to what he's come up with so far. Now, he's been I think this is in Ralph Lauren. Now, when I say Ralph Lauren in America, do not think they are the same prices as the Ralph Lauren here. They're always much, much cheaper when we go to the States for all this designer stuff. Now, have a look at these little items. He sent me a few photographs so far. Now, look at these. So here's the first one. A little bit grey. Doesn't do anything for me at all, to be honest, that one. It's very, very dull, very dull. Here's the second one, very black. But I don't want to be looking like I'm going to a funeral. Nothing exciting about that. As indeed was this one. I got another, another grey one. I mean, we can't have grey, dear. We need some brightness in our lives. I mean, it's just... No. I don't think so. No, none of those. Now, you would think, therefore... And I thought, you know, I, I said, oh, maybe something a little bit brighter. You know, oh, now, as I said at the beginning, I would probably wear a red. I would wear a red. I would wear... That colour red, yep, in a jacket, or I'd wear a, a, I would probably wear a green, a word, I would wear a green, or a, or a nice bright blue, maybe something like, um, what have I got blue in here? Nothing, of course. Oh, you know, maybe, maybe a nice Chelsea blue like that in a jacket. Yes, I would wear that. So something a bit brighter, perhaps. Yeah, but look at this. This one is a bit much. I mean, it looks like it's been cut out of a kilt. I mean, that's just too much. How can I be seen with that on at one of my karaoke nights? People will just laugh, won't they? It's too much, dear. Now, is it me? Or can you actually see me wearing something like that at a karaoke night? I think it's a bit too much, isn't it? So no luck with the jacket so far, whether or not he'll find one. He's got two weeks now to find one. So fingers crossed on that. <laughs> that last one, I just think it's hideous. Or is it, am I not seeing the beauty of that particular jacket? Please tell me. Send us an email, chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk or leave a little message under here, boys and girls, okay? Uh, so yesterday, yesterday I went to see my uh, birth mum yesterday. Uh, she doesn't live, she lives about 45 minutes away because I was helping her fill in forms. Recently, she's had some solar panels installed, okay? And uh, the government in this country give you a payment for all the electricity that you use, uh, I think four times a year or something like that. I'm sure I get mine four times a year because I've got solar panels here as well. Uh, but to get this money, you have to fill out a couple of forms and you would think it's easy. Uh, no, no, no. And she was just all over the place. She was so worried about these forms that arrived because you don't fill in the forms, you don't get the money. So I went around there yesterday to assist. And actually, I worked, excuse me, I worked uh, through the forms slowly and we got to the end of them all away and we've sent them away in the hope that they're right. Not necessarily, but in the hope that they're right. But honestly, the forms that you have to send, send in, uh, uh, j they just want so much information. And you know why they want so much information? Because they don't want to give you the money. Have you noticed that? When it comes to getting money out of an organisation or a government department that you have to you have to go through hoops to get this bloody money out of them. And isn't it funny? Isn't it funny? You get a bill 
a bill or perhaps a, a parking fine or something like that. And there it states at the top, pay this within 14 days or else, right? When you're applying to get a refund from the electricity company or something from the council or government, or in this case, solar panels, there'd be a note, you know, in small letters at the bottom. Well, uh, payment is usually within 60, 60 days or something like that. Have you noticed that? Because they don't want you to have the money. They hope that you'll either give up or forget. Isn't that the truth? You know that's the truth. Just hand over the bloody money, you tight-fisted bastards. Give us our money back. All of it. Thank you. So that's what I was doing yesterday. And uh, while I was there, uh, uh, my birth mum made me... Her, her name's Mary. She's a lovely lady. And she looks very much like me. She made me homemade quiche. Nice. And she's got this halogen oven. Oh, it's very good. She puts the potato in a microwave. A couple of few minutes. Okay, so then it softens it. Then she cuts it into bits and puts it in this halogen oven. No oil or anything. And it kind of crisps around the outside. Very tasty. And it takes a few minutes. Have you got a halogen oven? It lights up. Oh, it's lovely and warm around it. You put your hands around it if it's cold and it's lovely and warm. Uh, so that's that. Um, something for you to look at, boys and girls. Go on YouTube and type in Telsa test video driverless cars okay on there someone's put a camera in in one of these telsa cars where they're testing autonomous driving that is the car drives on its own and you'll see like, like, like there's a man behind the wheel and the wheels the steering wheels in front of them and they've got their hands like that ready to grab it in case anything wrongs and this car's going along the road you know like that and all of a sudden it swerves into this bloody lorry it's really scary. There's a few videos like that of that. Okay, and another one is going along like that. And it's going around the corner. Uh, and all of a sudden it just swerves through towards the barrier. This bloke grabs the wheel. It's the most scary thing ever. I hope they're able to sort that out. Cool, dear. Can you imagine the accidents? And who would you blame? If you were another car and that car smashed into you, whose fault is it? Is it Telsa's fault? Or the software engineering. You see, it gets very complicated, doesn't it? All that business. But I do hope they sort out driverless cars at some point. I love that. Love that. Love the idea of being able to, you know, type in or maybe talk. Uh, okay, please take me to London to Westminster, and park. Take me to Westminster and park. And you push a button, and then that's it. You just sit there. You read your magazines. You watch endless shows of mine. You know, to keep you entertained. Just, just to, just to, no, not really. Oh well, okay. So that's that. Um, I've been watching The Apprentice on the telly. Do you know actually, the people in this particular series of Apprentice aren't too bad. They don't seem as bad as they have been in the past. Sometimes they're really horrible, horrible people. Horrible. You wouldn't want to work with any of these people. You know, I am I am the best at what I do and I don't care who I step on until I get to the top. Why would you want to know someone like that? They're just horrible. No, no, no. But this lot aren't too bad, actually. My particular favourite is a lady, funnily enough, who wears a checked jacket, very similar to the one I just showed you earlier on. And it's like pink and yellow. And she's a bit older than, I think she's probably the oldest one in it. She's nice. I like her. I hope she goes a long way. Do you, are you watching The Apprentice? You know the one I mean, don't you? Blonde hair. I think she's got blonde hair and bright pink and yellow checked jacket. I like her very much. So I hope, it, hope she'll win. Um... What else have we got? Oh, Spectre, the James Bond film coming out. Is it this Monday? I love the bit at the beginning. Da 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 See, that's the circles going across the screen. They always have the circles going across the screen. Do it with me. Are you ready? Make a circle with your hand, gang. Have you done it? Let's do it. Da 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 See, people who just started watching a show from there probably think I'm from Thailand. 
da, 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 da. Don't you? No, I am English. Promise you. I would like to visit Thailand. I think that's a lovely place. Not Bangkok. Oh, my God. Too many people. Oh, and the traffic. Can you imagine sitting in the traffic in Bangkok? Have you ever seen it? Look it up on the internet. Millions and millions of cars all going to one place. Too many people around there. Um... I think that's all then. Yes, that's all to tell you today. Uh, just want to thank you to Chris. Thank you very much, Chris, who's in the States, who I haven't watched the long video that you made for me yet. I keep looking for half an hour to spare, and I will watch that. Thank you very much for sending it through. Uh, Chris also suggests, suggests that I place something black behind um, Wendy's lovely crystal that turns around there in the corner. You see, because it's not quite showing up. You, you look there, it's coming around now. OK, and there is actually a logo on that, but I don't think you can see it, can you? No, you, and you can't see it at all, can you? It looks like, just like a piece of glass going around. So he suggested putting a black piece of black card behind that and seeing how that goes. So I will try that. Thank you very much uh, for the advice, Chris. I might pop down, actually. I've got to go into town tomorrow, so I'll pop down there into the, um, uh, the craft shop get a piece of black card and stick that behind there and see if that makes any uh, uh, any difference, all right? Uh, tonight, it's Friday, so I will be hosting karaoke tonight at Central Station, which is in Wolfdale Road, King's Cross, uh, from 8.30 right away through to 11.30, 12 o'clock, okay? So that's karaoke every Friday at Central Station in Wolfdale Road, King's Cross, from 8.30 tonight. Have a lovely Friday. Thank you very much. Ta-ta.